Hi, welcome back to my channel and for today's video, we're gonna talk about the limits at infinity. So before we start with uh, for today's video again, um, I'm sorry, I still don't have the plants with me, but um, this picture below is actually the plant I have collected as well. So take a look into that. And uh, thank you also, guys, for all your continuing support. And if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe so that you'll be updated on a lot of videos that I'll be uploading soon. You can also request if you have a specific topic you would like me to discuss. Okay, so... Um, for today's lesson, we will be talking about the limits at infinity. So if you notice, the last video that I have is infinite limits. So that means we're gonna uh, and uh, we're gonna have to find a, at which a functions. If we take the limit for that, you'll get the infinity, either positive or negative. But in this video, we will be observing the functions at which the li um the value of x approaches to infinity and we will find that specific limit okay let's say for example um we will consider a function one over x so if we take the limit of one over x as x approaches infinity that one so we are interested what is this so if you would like to consider i have um we have a values here like this is the x this is um f of x So, if you have a value of 1, the value of f of x is 1. If you have the value of 2, the value of f of x is 0 0.5. If you have a value of 10, the value is 0 0.2, and so on. Now, if you approach that to a certain value, um, let's say, for example, 1 million, what could be the value of this? But obviously, if you notice, um, as x increases the value of f of x decreases but would you believe that it doesn't touch anything to zero so even if you um you take the value greater than a million you wouldn't find the answer less than zero or equal to zero in fact if you notice the f of x here the value of f of x as x goes to infinity these approaches to zero it never touched to zero but these approach to the value zero so this is the concept of the limit at infinity. That's it. So he, meaning to say that if you take the value of the limit of f of f of x, which is 1 over x as x approaches infinity, the answer is 0. So that is the intuitive idea of getting the limits at infinity. Okay, so we will discuss a formal definition of the limit of a function functions at infinity so in this case we consider a function f which is defined at every number in some open interval a to infinity okay take note of this open interval here now the limit of f of x as x increases without bound is l and we write this symbol so meaning the limit of f of x as x approaches infinity is l if for every epsilon greater than zero there exists a number n such that this is this one holds and x is greater than n okay so the geometric interpretation of this is actually the same with the geometric representation i have presented on the previous video on this thumbnail below so you might want to check on that and um analog analogously since we're actually talking here for um the value of x increases without bound so analogously for decreases um we consider an interval so instead of this a to infinity we consider negative infinity to let's say b as x decreases so in this case decreases without bound is l and we write this in this way if for every epsilon greater than zero we still have this one, we still have this one, but in this case, your x is less than n. Okay, so applying this definition in which we will solve functions on the limits at infinity, we will use this uh, theorem here. The theorem says that if you are given with a positive integer r, then um, if your function is of the form 1 over x to the r, so the limit 
as r approaches infinity is zero and um as r approaches negative infinity it's still zero okay so we will apply this theorem now so let's consider an example um number one let's say we're interested to solve for the limit of um 3x squared plus 7 all over 2x squared minus 5 as x approaches infinity okay so again we will uh, we want uh, to use the theorem in this case however it doesn't look like that so in order for us to do that um we might want to rewrite this in this way the numerator we can divide at both sides by uh i mean the numerator by x squared in that way we can have um three plus seven over x squared right because if you want to sim if you are going to simplify this uh you're you go back to this original part you can try that and then all over uh two minus five x squared now on the previous theorem so the, here's the thumbnail of the video i've discussed that um the limit of a quotient is equal to the quotient of the limit but instead of doing that we can automatically uh, know that the limit is equal to 3 over 2 why because it happens that this is already of the form 7 times 1 over x squared so this is already 1 over x to the r and this is 0 so entirely this is 0 this is also 5 times 1 over x squared so this is 0 so this is also 0 so therefore, we left with 3 over 2. So that's limit of 3 over 2 as x approaches infinity. And so that's the limit of a constant. Therefore, the answer is a constant. So if you have a question or clarification regarding on this example, please comment down there so that I would know and we can discuss that. Okay, so let's uh, double check. Uh, we're interested to solve for the limit of uh, 5x minus 8 all over the square root of um, 10x squared plus 3 as x approaches infinity or negative infinity but still they have the same um, result so in this case so in this case multiply the numerator and the denominator by 1 over x so in this case um if i multiply that by 1 over x that means um this becomes 5 minus 8 over x so if you are going to simplify this back again you go back to 5x over 8 so which means to say that um, i multiply this by 1 over x i also multiply this by 1 over x but 1 over x is equivalent to 1 over square root of x squared so that's what i'm gonna do with the denominator so meaning to say that um the denominator becomes 10 plus what is this again it's 3 so um this is 3 over x squared so this uh, this is now zero according to the theorem this is also zero meaning to say that um, you will have the limit of 5 over square root of 10 as x approaches infinity this is already the constant so therefore the answer is the constant that's it okay last example let us say we're interested to find the limit of 2x squared over 3x plus 2 as x approaches infinity so in this case we will divide both numerator and denominator by x squared so that means we would have um the numerator becomes 2 the denominator becomes 3 over x plus 2 over x squared now here's the trick so if you notice the numerator is constant so therefore the limit here is a constant c which is positive and then the denominator if you take the limit for that they're both zero so the limit is zero so if you remember on the previous video i have discussed the limit um uh, the infinite limits so this is now this case here so um this is our f of x this is our g of x so therefore the limit of the denominator so this is the denominator here is zero further uh, but if you notice g of x is zero uh, is greater than zero rather for all x greater than zero so meaning to say we are actually considering values of x because x approaches positive infinity in this case thus um the g of x here approaches zero through positive values 
So therefore, uh, by the free, uh, by the previous video, so we have discussed that already that um, this is a limit C, this is positive, constant, and this denominator approaches zero through positive value, so the answer is positive infinity. That's it. So, um, if you have questions or clarifications regarding on this video or on these discussions or example, you can comment down there and I wish uh, we can discuss that thoroughly. So, um, please let me know right away so that I can uh, pay attention to that. And then, um, this is all for now. I am uh, aiming that this video should be short so that you'll not get bored about this. So, thank you so much for watching. So, Again, um, thank you for all your support and have a great day. Bye for now.